Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you all you need to know how to measure amps correctly in AC, DC, high voltage and low voltage. Meanwhile, if you are not subscribed to this channel, now is your time to fix it and listen to the song at the end of the video. There are two types of voltmeters that you can use to measure amps with. One type has this clamp that you can put over one wire, and second type is the one that requires electricity to run through the device like this. First, I will show you how to use one with the clamp. I think one of the best ones on the market today is the one I have, Fluke 325. I will put a link to it in description below. I made this special short extension cord that allows me to easily put this clamp over one of the wires, hot or neutral to measure amperage of the current. But what is electrical current? The easiest way to imagine electrical current is to think of it as a water running through a pipe or a river. The current would be the quantity of water that runs through the pipe per hour. In plumbing, the water is measured in cubic meters, liters, or gallons per hour, minute, or second. So basically, a volume of water per certain amount of time. Quantity over time, which is essentially a speed, in electricity, it measures in amps, so amps are the speed at which electrical charge is traveling through the wire, and volts are the intensity of electrical charge. If you think of it in terms of money, volts are like the number printed on the dollar bill, and amps are the amount of those dollar bills. So the question is, what would be the total sum of those dollar bills in terms of electricity? The answer is, watts. Just like in terms of money. To calculate the total value of money, you multiply the number printed on the bill by the amount of bills. Same thing with electricity. You multiply volts by amps and you get watts. Watts are the total amount of energy. I hope that makes it clear. To measure amps using this amp meter, I turn the dial to letter A. This wiggly line indicates that it can measure AC current. Here you have to specify which one you want to measure. If you pick a wrong one, it will not measure it for you. So what is the difference between AC and DC? Isn't all electricity same? Well, no. DC is like flow of electricity that flows in only one direction. Therefore, it's called direct current. AC, on the other hand, stands for alternating current, meaning it changes direction certain amount of times per second. In USA, the AC current in electrical outlet changes its direction 60 times per second, 60 hertz meaning that the electricity flows 16.7 milliseconds in one direction and then 16.7 milliseconds in another direction. So the polarity of electromagnetic field around the wire also changes from north to south and back 60 times per second. Amp meter like this one measures the intensity of electromagnetic field created around the wire. That's why you have to specify what type of current you are measuring because the techniques to measure these two types are different. Here I plug in a 55 watt light bulb and we see that current measures at about 0.47 amps. Now you know that to calculate the amount of energy it uses per hour, you simply multiply 120 volts times 0.47 amps and we get 56.4 watts. In USA we have 120 volts, but in Europe it's 220 volts and 50 hertz frequency. Now let's try 200 watt light bulb. We get 1.66 amps, which calculates to almost 200 watts. Here is a small electric heater. It measures at around 1.5 amps and goes up to 200 watts as it warms up. So that's how you measure AC current with this clamp style amp meter. Clamp style amp meter is also very useful to measure current in circuit breaker box to measure how much current is drawn on each circuit breaker. For example, when you are figuring out why circuit breaker is tripping, AC current can also be measured using this user-friendly device called Kilowatt that plugs into a wall outlet and you can plug in your appliance into it. It measures amps, volts, and even calculates your watt consumption to help with analyzing power consumption of appliances. Now let's try DC. I have a 12-volt battery here and a light bulb from a car. I switch the amp meter to DC current And, as you can see, it measures at around 2.2 .2 amps. I used a very thick wire to minimize voltage drop, but when I measured the current with this type of voltmeter, 
it uses long, thin wires, and the current measures much lower, because some current is converted to heat and is therefore lost. That's why it measures at only around 1.6 amps. I tried two other voltmeters, and one measures around 1.75 amps and 1.78 amps. As you can see, they are not extremely accurate, but they give a pretty good idea about the current. I may post another video about why voltage drop occurs and why AC current loses much less energy during transmission. But if you are not subscribed to my channel, you will probably never see it, so make sure you are subscribed. To use these types of voltmeters to measure current, you need to connect your red wire to specific connector to measure amps. One of my multimeter can measure maximum of 10 amps, and another one can measure up to 20 amps, as you can see on this label. You can use this diagram as a reference to connecting wires. If you happen to run more than 10 amps through this voltmeter, a fuse is supposed to blow inside to prevent damage to the device and risk of fire. The fuse can be replaced, but it requires disassembling the voltmeter. To measure milliamps for small devices, such as low voltage light bulb or 5 volt LED, the red wire should be connected where milliamp abbreviation is specified. This particular voltmeter has a special connector to measure milliamps. Then turn your dial to milliamps instead of amps. In this yellow multimeter, you have to specify the maximum amount of milliamps you expect to measure. It's not as automatic as other multimeters. When you buy a multimeter for general purpose, it's usually a good idea to get one that is as automatic as possible. As you can see, it says fused here as well. That means that if you happen to run more than 200 milliamps of current through this connector, the fuse can blow and will need to be replaced. If you are trying to measure the milliamps and it just doesn't work, then very likely that your fuse is already blown and needs to be replaced. Make sure to read your multimeter's user manual to make sure you understand how to use it correctly and precautions to take to make sure you don't blow your fuses. After measuring amps, it is a very good idea to put the red wire back to volt measuring connector and never leave it at amps connector. Because if you don't, Next time you want to measure voltage and forget to put the wire to volts measuring connector, you will create a short circuit and may cause your fuse to blow, lots of sparks and even fire. So please be careful and make sure to subscribe to my channel. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful or informative, please hit that like button to let me know that I should make more videos like this. Thank you so much for your time. If you're watching and you like it, hit subscribe. If you